Hey, what is up? It's Six Talio, and today I'm going to be reviewing that same iPhone 4 that I did a uh, water damage repair on. Um, I did not put a back on it. Uh, the customer did not request uh, a back be put on it, so I didn't do that for him. Uh, but what I did do is I did get the phone working. And I'm just going to show you um, it just assembled from the back. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for right now is the new watermarks. The watermarks were completely red, um, or they were pinkish, or whatever you saw in the old video. Um, if you, if I showed you those, but um, yeah, so there's no watermarks, and I'm just gonna replace those, and then I'm also gonna replace the one in the headphone jack, but those aren't here yet. Uh, just right now, it's just the phone is assembled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. And the uh, nose kind of stuff, so. Um, also, I did not replace the front assembly at all. This is the exact same one that you saw me um, disassemble the back of the LCD on. Um, no, you, it, there's no possible way of uh, removing the LCD from the digitizer, but um, you can uh, um, disassemble the back of it. Um, and that's if you get like water stuck underneath it or. Naya, what are you doing? That's just my daughter. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it's uh, completely responsive. Um, gets full signal. Um, just gonna do a little desk grip for a few seconds. But yeah, that takes a little bit longer, but um. The speaker works just fine, and also there's only one speaker in all iPhones. One is uh, just speaker, the other is a microphone. As you can see, that works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call 611. I'm going to show you the proximity sensor works just fine. And uh, if you can hear that, um, the ear speaker works if you could hear that. The only thing that I found that uh, no longer works or functions at all is Wi Fi. As I can see, it says uh, no Wi-Fi, and it's grayed out. Can't um, select it or anything. And um, usually only see that. Uh, turn on airplane mode. You normally only see that if you um, you're flashing a baseband on like a 3G or 3GS, and uh, it fails to install. And uh, what that does is it grays out Wi-Fi, grays out Bluetooth, but Bluetooth functions on this. And then. Um, it also will erase your phone's information, including um, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi it says uh, not available, um, so no IP address. Bluetooth is disabled, um, it also just say NA right there as well. MEI is erased, uh, ICC ID will not show up um, because it will not read the SIM card. Um, if you put a SIM card in it, it'll just say searching forever and it will never show it, and never read the SIM card, so it will not show ICCID. Modem firmware is also erased because the baseband chip is fried. But um, on this one, it's probably just a hardware issue where it just doesn't connect to the board for Wi-Fi. But um, other than that, it's completely responsive. Um, all the buttons work. I'm just going to show you the vibrator working of course the switch and power button so everything but Wi-Fi functions on this um, with water damage repair it's never guaranteed um, you can do a water damage repair and be successful and then uh, about a month two three months later it could completely crap out on you so um, that's why I'm replacing the watermarks um, I just uh, told the customer, because this is literally a month old iPhone. He just put it through the washer, the back completely shattered, the front still stayed intact, so I didn't have to replace that. 
and obviously it works just fine. And um, if you watch the the water damage repair video for this iPhone, um, you would have saw that there's corrosion on the LCD um, cable. There's corrosion underneath uh, the board, underneath the little plates, under this one, and underneath the board. Uh, there's a little bit of corrosion here. Oh, and I did not test the camera yet. Huh. Forgot to test the camera. <laughs> um, there's a lot of corrosion on the camera. Little uh, flexible right there. Naya, stop it. She's playing with her little toy set thing. But um, there's a lot of corrosion on the camera, so I, I don't even know if that works yet because I didn't test it. <laughs> and um, the only the only thing that I'm actually kind of confused about is how the the bottom watermark underneath your 30-pin uh, connector uh, remained white. It went pink and then it went back to white. I don't know how, but uh, just did. So let's open up the camera. Yeah, I do know. Camera works. Let's do the front camera. Hey, what's up? Okay. Okay, well, that answers that question. It works. The only thing that doesn't work is Wi Fi. Other than that, it's just fine. But anyway, um, if you have any questions at all about water damage repair, and again, it's never guaranteed for everything to work or continually working, um, the maximum time I would say you have a more likely chance of uh, recovering your water damage device is about three weeks. Thank you, boo-boo. You're welcome. <laughs> um, if it's within the same week or within a few days, um, it's very likely you'll be able to uh, save your iPhone. No, yeah, don't touch that. No, don't touch it. Um, if it's two weeks, um, you'll probably have a pretty good chance of fixing your phone. If it's about three weeks, then it's uh, maybe about a 50-50 chance. And um, let's see. But if it's like over a month, um, you can try and do it, clean it up, and uh, replace the watermarks. Hopefully, you know, your manufacturer's warranty will still be valid after doing that, which is uh, the reason I'm replacing the watermarks. So this can be warrantied because it looks perfectly fine. I'm replacing this one, this one, and uh, the little headphone jack watermark. And uh, that would uh, put it back into warranty, and it should be able to warranty it out just fine. But, um, yeah, if, if your phone's been water damaged over a month and you haven't cleaned it out, and all, all you've done to it is uh, put it in rice, your phone's pretty much screwed. Um, the whole rice thing does not work at all. I've had a lot of people bring their phones to me about six months after being water damaged, or four to six months, or even longer. And they said, well, I put it in rice right after, and I left it in there for a whole week. So I don't know what happened. They bring their phone to me, and I open it up. It's completely corroded to hell in there. I've seen milk damage. The worst I've seen is uh, damage from Jello. Jello by far is the worst liquid to get in your phone because it spreads like crabgrass, but in terms of corrosion. Um, but yeah, rice does not work. All it does is suspend your phone and uh, maybe a few drops drip out of your phone. All right, go sit down. Daddy, more drops. Okay. More yellows. Give me a second. But um, yeah. All rest does is just suspend your phone. It doesn't actually suck the water out. It just uh, kind of um, gets all the water that drips out and then sucks that. But it doesn't actually do anything. Anyway, um, if this video helped you out at all, 6 Talio, Comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 6 Talio. All right, see ya. I'm done.